new approach to attracting, training, and retaining new teachers. Marion University is starting a new program aimed at veterans. Listen to this. More than 90% of all Indiana schools are reporting a teacher mm -hmm. shortage. News 8's Richard Essex is told the problem is worse in urban areas. Indiana is in the middle of a severe teacher shortage. One local Indianapolis university is turning to veterans for a possible solution. Many of you have driven by Marion University, the small private university founded by the Sisters of St. Francis in 1937. The original mission of the school was to train teachers. Dr. Kenneth Britt is the senior vice president of the teacher learning experience at Marion, and he's helping rewrite how teachers are trained. Uh, the number one uh, in school factor for student performance is the teacher. So we take that very seriously in terms of how we recruit, who we recruit. Dr. Britt is looking for folks that have already been recruited once. He's looking for veterans. So we started thinking about how can we help IPS particularly recruit talented, service-minded teachers who understand trauma and who are going to make the commitment to stay. The teaching program at Marion is a five-year commitment. Prospective teachers are put into local classrooms, what Brick calls their clinicals. The fifth year is a paid residency. This is a huge time commitment, and the university believes veterans are a perfect fit. Understand, you know, their training and background, they understand trauma. Uh, some of them have gone through trauma themselves if they've been deployed uh, in some circumstances. Uh, and that commitment is fierce. As part of the program, Marion students will teach avatars, computer-generated students. For many, this will be their first real exposure to a classroom setting. One of their instructors says that she welcomes the older, potentially more focused veteran students. So they're going to bring a different dynamic, but their feedback is going to be a little different because they're looking at it from a different lens. And um, I think that's going to bring a, a nice twist, too. The university has not set a limit on the number of veterans they will accept into the program. According to the Indiana Department of Education, Indiana is in dire need of STEM teachers, and there are shortages in almost all of the basic programs. In Indianapolis, Richard Essex, Wish TV, News 8.